Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little beanie hat for baby boys and girls between six and nine months old. I made it to match a little cardigan sweater that I showed you last week and the baby blanket. If you want to see these tutorials, just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. You'll find those tutorials there. Now this little hat along with a little jacket is for babies between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger down here in the information box i'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out also in the information box i'll leave the link to my etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern thank you for your support okay let's get started but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in english and in spanish don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching Okay, to crochet this little hat, I'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this medium number four yarn. You can also use 10 ply or Aran weight yarn. Now, here to begin, the first thing that we need to do is the brim. To do the brim, I have six chains. Into the second chain from the hook, make a single crochet. Into the next chain, a single crochet, and on each one of the chains, a single crochet. That's three, four, five single crochets. Now, chain one, turn, and we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to make single crochets, but we're going to make these single crochets through the back loop of the single crochet. So beginning on top of the first one through the back loop, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next and so on until you have five single crochets i have my five single crochets now chain one turn and repeat the same thing this is how we're going to make our brim i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do for the brim here so i will meet you at the end of that row Okay, I finished making my brim. I did a total of 56 rows. Now, this here is measuring without stretching or anything. It's measuring about 38 centimeters, which is about 15 inches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to join both sides. So here's the last row that I did. So now I'm going to insert my hook through the first chain stitch right here. So insert your hook through there, grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain one. Now insert your hook again through the same stitch here, through the first chain stitch, and now through the back loop of the last single crochet that I did in the last row. So grab a loop there and make a slip stitch into the next stitch and through the back loop of the next stitch here in the back, make a slip stitch. And this is how we're going to join both sides like this. That's four and five slip stitches there now we're joined now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and now here we have the first chain stitch right here here's the tail end so into this first stitch here insert your hook there and make a single crochet now we're going to make one single crochet for each row so into this next row here make a single crochet into the next row single crochet single crochet into the next and so on this is all i'm going to do here just one single crochet for each row and at the end of this row of single crochets i'm going to have 56 single crochets uh, this row here of single crochets needs to be in multiples of four now continue like this i'll meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next I finished making this row of single crochets. Up to here, I had 56 single crochets. To finish the row, all I did was just join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this row here is all done, and that's what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to this white yarn. If you're not changing color, then all you need to do is just join to the first stitch with a slip stitch, and then chain three. I'm going to change to this white yarn, so I'm going to insert insert my hook into the first single crochet which is the same stitch where I joined with the slip stitch now grab a loop here 
and chain three. One, two, three. Now these three chains here counts as your first double crochet. Into this same stitch here, I'm going to make two double crochets. So here, including the three chains, I have three double crochets. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet here, make three double crochets. Here we're going to make these shells of three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make another shell. So three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, one more shell. And this is all we're going to do for this first row to our pattern. Continue like this. I will meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row of shells. I have a total of 14 shells up to here. Now I'm going to skip these three single crochets and to finish this row, I'm going to go into the third chain here at the beginning and I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row with 14 shells. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Now what I'm going to do in this row is in this space here, I'm going to go down to the row below. So we're going to go down two rows. So one, two. Into this row, single crochets here, I have three single crochets. Into the middle single crochet, which is the second single crochet, insert your hook and make this long double crochet. Now next to it here in the same space, make a double crochet. So here I have three double crochets, the three chains, this long double crochet, and then the double crochet that I just did. Now in between the next two shells, we're going to do the same thing. Make a double crochet. Now go to the row below, which is the row of single crochets, and into the middle single crochet, which is the second one, make this long double crochet. And then next to it here, the third double crochet. One more time between the next two, make a normal double crochet, go down to the row below, the row of single crochets, into the second single crochet here, make this long double crochet, and then next to it here, make your double crochet. I believe this double crochet here that I just did is also known as the spike double crochet. So it's just a long double crochet. Again, between the next two, make a normal double crochet, go to the row below, into the second single crochet, make this long double crochet, and right next to it in the same space, make your third double crochet. That's all we're going to do all around for this second row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the second row. Up to here I have 14 shells. Now to finish this row, we're always going to go here to the beginning where we have these three chains. Into the third chain, insert your hook and join with a slip stitch. And here is the second row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now this third row is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. Now, if you notice in this row, we have our space. The three chains here counts as the first double crochet. So we've done this stitch here. Now we need to do the long double crochet. So to do this, we have these three double crochets here. We have the three chains, then two double crochets. Now into the middle double crochet, out of these three here of the row below, insert your hook there and make your long double crochet. And into the same space here, make a normal double crochet, so the third double crochet. And that's how you're going to begin each row. Now between the next two shells, insert your hook into the space and make a double crochet. Go down to the row below, we have three double crochets into the second double crochet. Insert your hook and make this long double crochet. And right to the side here, make your third double crochet. And this is all we're going to do, again, between the next two shells, make a double crochet. Now go to the row below and into the second double crochet here, make this long double crochet. And right next to it in the same space, make your third double crochet. This is all we're going to do. And this is the row again that you're going to repeat for the pattern here for the hat. So continue like this finish this third row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you once again how to finish each row and how to start each row from here on.
I'm here at the end of this third row to our pattern stitch here. Now up to here, I have 14 shells. We're always going to have 14 shells. To finish each row from here on, you're always going to go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And here is the third row. Now for the fourth row, you're going to chain three and turn. That's how you're going to begin every row, chain three and turn. Now, immediately into this space here, we're going to make our second double crochet because these three chains here counts as the first double crochet. So go to the row below. In the row below, we have three double crochets into the second double crochet, which is the middle stitch. Insert your hook there and make this long double crochet or this spike double crochet stitch. And next to it, make a normal double crochet and here's the first pattern stitch now again between the next two make a normal double crochet go down to the row below and into this row here we have three double crochets into the second double crochet make your spike double crochet and right next to it make a normal double crochet and that's all we're going to do here from here on like this double crochet long double crochet and next to it a normal double crochet now to finish this row you're going to go here to the side where we have the three chains join with a slip stitch chain three turn and then repeat the same thing now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here for this little hat but to continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row Okay, I finished making this part from here up to here. I have a total of 10 rows and it's measuring from the top of the last row down to the bottom here of the brim. It's measuring about 14 centimeters, which is about 5.5 inches. Now we're going to start to reduce the total height for the size that we're making it needs to be between six and a half to seven inches. Now, if you're making this little hat for any other size, you need to start to reduce once you have about one and a half to two inches left from the total height height. Check out the information box for standard size measurements so that you can make this hat for any size, any age. So to do the first row of reduction, here at the end of the 10th row, I just joined to the first stitch with a slip stitch. Now for this first row reduction, chain three and turn. Now in this row, this is what we're going to do. I have my first double crochet here for the stitch pattern. I'm going to go to the row below here and make this long double crochet or this spike stitch. And then right next to it here, make my third double crochet. So this here is a normal stitch. Now into the next space, this is where we're going to reduce. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the space, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the middle stitch here at the bottom to make our spike stitch grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook yarn over and next to it in the same space grab a loop take two loops off four loops on the hook close so here we're going to be decreasing here so i have one stitch now now into the next space we're going to work the normal stitch pattern so make a double crochet Go to the row below and make your spike stitch and next to it here make your third double crochet now into the next space we're going to do the same thing we did here into this second stitch you're going to yarn over insert your hook into this space take two loops off yarn over go down to the row below and make your spike stitch where you take two loops off leave three loops on the hook yarn over insert your hook into the space again take two loops off four loops on the hook close here's our decrease stitch now again into the next space work your normal stitch a double crochet into the row below your spike double crochet and next to it your third double crochet and then again into the next space we're going to do the reduction stitch so this is how you're going to continue here. Alternating between the normal stitch and then the reduction stitch like this. One, now into the next, a normal stitch and so on. This is how we're going to continue all around. So continue, I'll meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next and that's what it looks like. 
reduction stitch normal reduction stitch normal and so on i'll meet you here at the end of this first row of reduction i'm here at the end of this first row of reduction now into this last space here i did this double crochet decrease i had to look this up i think this is called a three double crochet decrease because we're uh, going from three stitches to one so that's the closest that I can come up with as far as a description for this stitch so we're going to call it a three double crochet decrease so now to finish here I'm going to go here to the side and join with a slip stitch now here at the end of this first row of reduction I have a total of seven normal pattern stitches and seven of these uh, decreasing stitches that we did now for the second row reduction we're going to chain three and turn now immediately into this space here we're going to go to the row below here we have three double crochets into the middle stitch make your spike stitch and then next to it your third double crochet so this stitch here is a normal stitch now into the next space between the next two stitches here we're going to work our three double crochet decrease so insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off yarn over go down to the row below into the middle stitch grab a loop take two loops off leave three loops on the hook yarn over next to it make your third double crochet where we're going to close through all four loops and here's the three double crochet decrease now between the next two stitches work your normal pattern stitch so make a double crochet go to the row below make your long double crochet next to it make your next double crochet three double crochets now into the next space between the next two work your three double crochet decrease so yarn over insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off yarn over go down to the row below make this long double crochet do not close leave three loops yarn over into the same space make your third double crochet where you take two loops off and close i'm going to show you one more time between the next two make your normal pattern stitch so a double crochet go down to the row below and make a double crochet or your spike double crochet next to it your third double crochet now between the next two work your three double crochet decrease so insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off yarn over go down to the row below take two loops off leave three loops yarn over to the same space take two loops off four loops close and that's all we're going to do here for the rest of this row we're just going to repeat the same thing we did in the first row it's just that here we have a normal pattern stitch decrease normal decrease normal decrease and then you're going to do normal decrease normal decrease normal decrease normal decrease and so on continue i'll meet you here at the end of this second row of decreases to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row of reduction. Here's my last three double crochet decrease, which becomes one stitch. Now to finish here, I'm going to go here where I have the three chains and I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And here is the second row reduction with the same thing, same number of stitches. I have seven of these uh, pattern stitches and then I have seven of these three double crochet decreases. So one stitch here. Now for the third row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain three and turn. Now here, I'm going to go down to the row below and I'm going to go into the center stitch and work my spike double crochet here. Right to the side here, make my third double crochet. So I have the three chains, my spike double crochet and my third double crochet. Now between this pattern stitch and this double crochet decrease that we did in the previous row I have a space I'm going to yarn over insert my hook into this space grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops on the hook yarn over then go into the next space between this pattern stitch and this stitch reduction here insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook 
close. Here I'm going to work this, um, it's like a double crochet decrease, but I'm doing it so that there is no gap in between this pattern stitch and the first one because here now I'm going to go down to the row below into the center stitch and I'm going to work my spike double crochet here and then right next to it my normal double crochet and see that way right in the middle there's no gap so now we're going to do the same thing I'm going to yarn over and into the next space between this pattern stitch and this reduction stitch insert your hook into this space grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops on the hook don't close this double crochet yarn over instead and go in between the next two and into this space here make your first double crochet of the pattern stitch where you close through three loops we're going to call this a double crochet decrease so now go down to the row below and make your spike double crochet and then a double crochet into the same space and see this is reducing it a bit further here at the top and you don't have a gap um, in between these two pattern stitches again let me show you so between these next two we're going to do the double crochet decrease so yarn over insert your hook into this next space grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops on the hook yarn over go into the next space insert your hook into this space grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close here's our double crochet decrease now yarn over go down to the row below and work your spike double crochet and then next to it here on the same space your third double crochet that's how we're going to continue here for this third row continue i'll meet you here at the end I'm here at the end of this third row reduction. Now, here's my last pattern stitch. Now, I have this last space here. Now, into this space, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into this space, take two loops off, leave two loops. Now, to finish the row, we're going to go here where we have the three chains and we're going to grab a loop and make a slip stitch where we close through those two loops. And then that way we close this center stitch here that we just did. Now, at the end of this, third row I have a total of seven pattern stitches we have one two three four five six seven and then in between we have these reduction stitches now for the fourth row this is going to be the last row so we're going to chain two don't turn just chain two now in this fourth row what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a double crochet decrease so yarn over insert your hook into the next double crochet grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops on the hook yarn over insert your hook on top of the next double crochet take two loops off three loops on the hook close now again into the next two stitches repeat the same thing yarn over insert your hook into the first grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops yarn over insert your hook into the next take two loops off three loops close again into the next two grab a loop take two loops yarn over grab a loop take two loops off three loops close this is how i'm going to continue all around take two loops yarn over take two loops three loops close again yarn over insert your hook into the next double crochet take two loops off yarn over take two loops off three loops close continue like this all around i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this fourth row this is where i did these double crochet decreases i have 10 stitches here at the end of this row now to finish here i'm going to go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch now i've cut my yarn here i'm going to pull a loop here and i'm going to tie a loop here leave this loop there because this is what i'm going to use to tie my hat once I close the top here so cut your yarn leave a long tail here pass your yarn through a needle here and we're going to go all around we're going to skip one stitch then go through with your needle skip one and into the next insert your needle all around Now, insert your 
yarn here through the middle, go on the inside here of the hat, pull this yarn, and that hole is going to close. Now with this loop that we left, tie a knot, cut your yarn and your hat is done. And that's what it looks like here at the top. That's the top of the hat. Here's the little hat, it's all done. That's what it looks like. Here's our stitch pattern, absolutely beautiful. And it's a reversible hat, so that's what it looks like on the inside. So the little hat is all done. This one here is for six to nine months, just like the little jacket that I showed you. Here you can add a pompon. I have these fur pompons that are nice and easy to attach so that it looks kind of sort of like that. Now you can also make a pompon. That would be up to you. So here's the little hat to match the little sweater that I showed you. This one here with the little collar with the same pattern stitch for six to nine months. Comment below and let me know if you want me to make you the matching pants or baby booties, depending on your comments and your interest. I'll go ahead and see what I can do. It's a lot of work to do these, um, and it's kind of disheartening when the views are not there. Uh, so let me know if you want me to continue with the pattern. Now the little hat as well as the little sweater is for six to nine months, but if you want to make it smaller or bigger, just look down here in the information box. There I'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.